Planet Zoo has been rated E10 plus by the ESRB for crude humor, mild blood, and mild violence. It is generally suitable for people aged 10 years and up. From the turreted castle and Main Street to Monte Cristo Island and Kukwana Land, Bartholomew Zenon's Zenon Land is protected by the Night Sheriff. Day and night, he is burdened by a witch's curse to be aware of all that live and play within the massive fantasy theme park. Now an attack on the park by a monster hunter who knows far too much threatens everything, guests, staff, and fellow supernaturals taking refuge in the park. The night sheriff must scramble to uncover not only the source of the threat, but secrets of the park of which even he was not aware. If he doesn't, he may be doomed. The park may be doomed. Even the world may be doomed. And that's a lot of doom. Get your copy at Amazon.com today. Hey kids, this is Jack. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Emerald Deep Zoological Park and Planet Zoo. Now you may notice that I've done some excavating. I've also set up some barriers. That's because I went ahead and started the episode and gave my intro and started building. And then only, and then, only then did I realize that I had forgotten to turn on my recording software. So I did catch it in time so that you're going to get the majority of the build. But as you can see, I, I dug a big hole. I dug a hole. It's a hole. And uh, this is going to be the home of Baird's Tapirs. We are starting the South American section of the zoo with the tapirs. Which personally I think is very cool. They are neat animals. We've got a set of them in our local zoo. And they're just they're just overall very, very cool. They really are. And I can't, you know, I'm going to repeat the word cool nine or ten more times. So I hope you're ready for it, okay? Now let's, uh, let's place some water down. Yeah, that'll work. Now what we need are some rocks. I'm gonna go, you know what, no. I'm gonna use these because I laid this down for a reason. These are all the aquatic rocks, but they are, uh, hold on, it's an incomplete set. These are all the aquatic rocks, but um, they've been versicolored so that they resemble uh, the rocks in other sets. Let's see. Um, rocks. Oh, come on. How about just rock? Yeah, here we go. All right, now, the set that I'm using, I'm using these two, these two right here, this one and that one. So I'm going to go ahead and move these two over here, and then these I'm just going to erase. Now. I'm also going to use some of the tropical walls, uh, uh, some of the walls that um, I've already built long ago and have as part of my standard blueprint um, package. So rock wall, let's see, I need, what looks good? You know what, we'll use this. I know it's not tropical rocks, but heck with it. It'll look good. All right. So anyway, guys, um, yeah, this is going to be the Baird's Tapir Habitat. It's the first habitat in the South America section. Um, this will also have animals like uh, uh, like the uh, um, the jaguar and the cougar and capuchin monkeys and the giant anteater and the giant otter, um, stuff like that. You know, jungle animals from South and Central America. Um, and, of course, the American alligator because, you know, believe me, Florida? Florida's pretty tropical when it wants to be. Officially, we're temperate, but you can't fool me. 90 degrees 
100 degrees, 110 degrees, and 100% humidity. That's jungle weather. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and turn this over to the speed build, as I always do. And uh, I will talk to you once we're finished. Personally, I have a lot of uh, high hopes for this. I think it's going to work out just fine. Of course, it does occur to me that I, I'm using the wrong colored rocks. So you know what? Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should kill these. Okay, guys, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you in a, in a minute. I'm going to turn this over to the speed build.
So here we have the tapir habitat in its finished form. It's a good habitat. Um, you know, it's got thin land, but it's sufficient for the uh, tapirs, especially after I move that back wall back a little. Um, you know, and it's got plenty of water and it's got good visibility. And of course, it's nighttime and it's raining to beat the band. You gotta love zoos that are built in tropical zones because the, the developers of this game decided it was going to rain like Noah was building a boat. So uh, anyway, um, you know, we did get it done. It looks good and it's functional and it is the, the gateway. Uh, and we got protesters. Okay, why do we have protesters? You know, it's the gateway habitat protesters. What are they protesting? They're protesting my crocodiles? Why are they protesting my crocodiles? Hold on. What's the matter with my crocodiles? Anyway, uh, tapirs. What was I talking about tapirs? Jesus, I hate when this happens at night because colorblindness makes it very difficult to see in the dark. Okay, over. There they are. Okay, what precisely is the matter with my crocodiles? Let's go talk to one of the animals. Let's see what they have to say for themselves. Cornelius Buddy. You don't seem to be... What's the matter? You're, you're fine. That's... Oh, coverage is a little much, but you know what? That, you know, wouldn't be it. Hold on just a goddamn minute. Hold on just a goddamn minute. Protesters. Crocodile. Agum, who the hell is at? Okay, what is at? How did you get out of your cage, young man? That's my question. How did he get out of his cage? I don't see any escape markers. Do you see any? If it were possible for these guys to escape, there would be a marker indicating that they could escape. But there is none, so he got out somehow, probably through a glitch. And because he was hungry and dehydrated, because, you know, all that, I had protesters. Anyway, back. let's go back to the tape here now that that is taken care of. Um, you know, it's a fun game, folks. It really is. But you got to remember, it's more than just building zoos. Okay, here is the tapirs. The tapirs in the dark. Um... We do have a class going on. That's good. Anyway, uh, tapirs are a really good animal, and uh, you, you know you can do a lot with them um, at the beginning of your zoo. They're a good starting animal. I mean, you know, they're not necessarily the best starting animal, mind you, but they're definitely a good one. 
and uh, they're reliable and they're easy to take care of once you've met their needs and uh, you know it's just it's one of those things I think we're gonna have a lot of fun putting in the um, South American animals the next animal speaking of South American animals the next animal to be included is going to be the capuchin monkey and yes I do have an idea about what I'm gonna do with their habitat it's gonna be an interior habitat so basically it's gonna be a building and uh, 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 it's 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 gonna it's gonna look great it's gonna look great I'm gonna make it as South American as possible anyway guys um, if you liked what you saw here today please hit that like button oh look he's swimming or is it she is that she who is it this is a hook I need a good name for these guys because while I don't mind using the Aztec names, I have a hard time pronouncing them. So we need a couple of names for the, the tapirs. Are they both in the water? Yeah, they are. They're both in the water. How about that? Um, so I need a couple of, of name ideas. And uh, 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 we're going to put capuchin monkeys in the zoo next. Um, I'm likely going to put some more snack bars over here. You know, a, a burger joint or hot dogs and a soda, a, a soda fountain, things like that. Maybe a souvenir thing. We'll use up some of the space. We'll expand the plants. And uh, the monkeys will probably be in this area somewhere or maybe this area somewhere. And like I said, it's going to be an interior habitat. Nothing but inside. Um, so, yeah, I hope to see you there in the next episode. Uh, have I given you the ex have I given you the usual uh, outgoing whatever you know but uh, subscribe like hit that button ring that bell to make sure you don't miss any of my uh, videos because I put out a lot of videos and let me know what you think in the comments below boys and girls I love hearing from you especially if you have ideas on what to name our tapirs girls name starting with a boy's name starting with T. And of course, it doesn't actually have to be a human name. You know, I mean, I'm not going to name na name it like, you know, tube or anything or, you know, what, what would you do? Yeah. Airplane. But you know what I mean. So anyway, uh, yeah, check back with me in the next video. It'll be Capuchin Monkeys. Bye-bye.